Hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Emirates. A bit of rain in the air, but nothing to spoil the football we're about to bring you. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Arsenal against Manchester City. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Number 23, David Luiz. Number 34. Here's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. Well, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. He's uh, known for his pace and uh, he doesn't often not make use of it. That's for Kevin De Bruyne. He's known for his interplay, little one twos, especially around the box. This is the Arsenal lineup. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yeah, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Manchester City's lineup today. The goalkeeper is Edison. Raheem Sterling starts with Leroy Sane out wide. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. It's Arsenal to kick off. Here's Torreira. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Chaka. I've got his angles wrong with the pass. Looking at Manchester City, they do take risks at the back with their passing. Is that kind of risk that you think is viable to take? I mean, they've got to get it right every game to avoid giving soft goals away. It is a risk. You've just got to be very good in possession and have confidence in your ability at the back. Otherwise, it can look suicidal really when you lose a game playing that way very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross Mesut Ozil Tierney Chaka Aubameyang Manchester City have the ball again it's De Bruyne could have been a decent pass, the interception absolutely crucial as it's turned out. It's going to be a throw after that challenge. Hector Berry. Here's Torrent. Pepe. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? Aiming at Albamia. for all of us watching well, it's come in from a long way out and from that angle it's not always easy to finish defenders caught out by it in the end a good look here again by the replay of the goal well not what he was looking for and the manager now looking less than pleased somebody's going to pay for that uh, goal they've just conceded Arsenal have that goal is with De Bruyne probing away working away at the opposition with these passes Aubameyang here's Herzl can whip it in now Herzl that's 
Great work by the goalkeeper. Back away by Ozil! But there aren't many clever, more intelligent players around at the moment. And he gives himself an extra second, Mesut Ozil. Gives himself an extra yard. Well, he's followed the forwards manual, Alan, hasn't he? Really following up to get the chance when it comes off the keeper. Well, that's what a striker's game should be all about. Anticipating the knockdown and getting there first. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Number 10, Mesut Ozil. Here's Walker. Now De Bruyne. De Bruyne must have taken his eye off the ball. Possession given away once more. That would be a throw. Sergio Aguero is with De Bruyne. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Set up to play on the break now. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Silva coming really deep as a forward to get on the ball his teammates really telling him to get up the pitch David Silva slipping it through it's a save with a degree of comfort Alan yeah that was never going to finish up a goal Manchester the city get given the corner here I don't think it's going to happen for his team the golden opportunity spurned and they're still losing by two well, I thought it was in, Alan. Off the line. He didn't give up, that's the great thing. He did not give up on it and got back just in time. De Bruyne. Half. De Bruyne! Well, De Bruyne took that in typical Kevin De Bruyne fashion. It's a fine goal. Well, he was on his toes. The defenders were on the heels. Good take. Let's see the replay now. Off we go again, 2-1. Manchester City goal. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Now Lucas Torreira. Granani Chaka, Mesut Ozil. Here's Torreira. Hector Berry. Keeping the ball is one thing, but they've got to try and open up the opposition. Opportunity to play it into the middle. Got the ball back. It's with De Bruyne. It's a good example of his strength. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Pass one defender. Problems here for Manchester City. They are problems that can be solved, but the longer it goes on, maybe the more desperate they might become. They've still got a few minutes left in the first half. All of the second half to see if they can sort this out. It's not a cross that's caused the defence any problems, and certainly not the goalkeeper. Papasta Topoulos gets the ball out wide with time to assess the situation. Could be a cross here, it could be dangerous. Bayeri. Well, he's cleared the danger. A chance to break away now on the counter. Aguero. It's De Bruyne. 
with Raheem Sterling. Well, they were well placed until that tackle. Made a quick interception. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Here's Davids. This could be an opportunity in behind the defence. It was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. It's with De Bruyne. Silva. Well, whether they're being forced back or whether they're just doing this as a tactic. It's hard to... Un well, this is half-time. That's the whistle. And 2-1 is the score at this stage. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end for the right reasons, but we might not uh, mention him in uh, a positive way, the way he's played today. Just hasn't looked himself today. Looked a little bit lacklustre. I don't know if he's ill or not fit, but uh, certainly not... And here at the Emirates Stadium... The second half starts. Aguero. Able to intercept here. There you have it. Arsenal trailing on the possession stats. They're doing a great job here. It's been a classic counter-attacking performance. You don't always need to be dominating possession to get yourselves ahead. Possession back with Manchester City now. Benjamin Mendy. Cut out the pass. Here's Socrates Papastatopoulos. Hector Bellerin. Here's Bellerin. Can go in from here. They're coming in at the near post for the cross. We've got a corner now. Well, he is somebody that you have to watch closely to see how good he is. And he's been good today, surely, Alan, hasn't he? Meza Ozil. Oh, he's looked really lively today, hasn't he? He's been getting the ball in good areas, turning, shooting with both feet, and he's got himself a goal. And in it goes. Hector Berry. An Arsenal attack in a wide area. Good position for the cross. And the referee blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Walker. Gundogan. Mendy. Silva. Mendy. David Silva. Here's Sane. Sergio Aguero. Strong piece of defending and clearing. In from De Bruyne. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Here's David Silva. The shot is blocked. Here's Torreira. It's a turnover of possession here. Manchester City push on now in a wide area. Substitute for Manchester City. Intercepted well. Chance for a break in numbers. Now Lucas Torreira, Tierney. Mesut Ozil. Here's Torreira. 
continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. Now the possibility for a cross. Real promise about that build-up, until that challenge. Here's Berin. Pepe. An incisive pass. There's an Ozil crossing. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. No nonsense defending, it was needed. This will be interesting. Changes now for both teams. Number 22, Benjamin Mendy. To be replaced by number 25, Fernandinho. Jaka. Ozil. With great vision here. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Here's Laporte, time ticking on, just over 15 minutes to go. Into the attacking third. Gunduan. Aguero. That's a good block. Good defending, no problem in the end. Arsenal fans looking at their watches, checking how long there is to go. There's still life in this game, and Manchester City will push them all away, you feel? Yeah, the Arsenal fans are nervous. Maybe that will transmit to the Arsenal players, too. Looking to create an opening. Well, we're closing in on the result here, and it looks as though it's going to be an Arsenal win. It will be a deserved Arsenal win. Heading back across goal. Now Lucas Torreira. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Good to act. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Now Laporte. Gundogan. Silva. Well, they're sitting off the opposition here, and that can invite pressure. Fernandinho. It's about finding the right pass now. Oh, it's a little one, that left foot of David Silva's. Sergio Aguero now. Didn't want to take the extra touch, just volleyed it. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for Kovic there. It's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to... Uh, help the team in this situation they're encouraged by the lead but they fearful perhaps that this team might lose it well they won't want to give anything silly away the opposition are chasing the ball trying to get it back and trying to get back into this match they pressed well to win the ball back the two more the minutes to play that have added time two minutes now laporte silva now fernandinho Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. A space to get the cross in. On the cross blocked well by the defender. Just the one goal in it. But they've got a corner and a chance to add to that one goal advantage very late in this match. And it's come to an end here with the final whistle. Well, that's it. The dust is settling now, Alan. And beaten by this team as well yeah they uh, probably weren't at the best well they certainly weren't at the best today and they'll be feeling disappointed to to lose out to their rivals in this manner